behold, but also reflect on, the immense power of the universe. There is so much going on in the cosmos that, in most cases, we have no idea what is happening. Vast and infinite, the universe stretches in all directions, filled with phenomena both familiar and mysterious. We keep wondering why we exist, why there are planets and stars, and what other possible destinies might have been. Humanity's eternal quest for understanding stretches back through centuries, driven by curiosity and the longing to comprehend our place in the cosmos. Often, however, we don't pay attention to problems until they become critical, even if they will eventually affect us. This lack of foresight can be dangerous, especially when celestial phenomena occur that may influence our understanding of existence or even our survival. One such celestial phenomenon centers on Betelgeuse, one of the largest stars in the firmament, which has begun to show signs of instability, trembling alarmingly, which could indicate that something frightening is happening. For generations, this star has been the subject of study because of its gigantic size and unusual behavior. In fact, it is so huge that it makes our sun seem tiny in comparison. Betelgeuse is not a star like other stars and never has been. Betelgeuse, or more accurately, Betelgeuse, is a red supergiant, a class of stars nearing the end of their stellar lifetimes. Much more distant than it appears from Earth, Betelgeuse lies more than 640 light-years away. Although this distance may not seem significant at first, in cosmic terms, it is immense. Even if we could travel at the speed of light, it would take more than 640 years to reach it, something currently impossible with our existing technology. Under normal conditions, with today's spacefaring capabilities, it would take us more than 12 million years to complete such a long journey, a span much longer than the entire history of mankind. This mind-boggling distance gives us an idea of the magnitude and strength of the star, which has been shaking intensely for some time now. Despite the calm appearance stars present from our earthly perspective, the reality is that stars, regardless of their size, are dynamic and tumultuous in their internal activity. Scientists do not yet fully understand the signals Betelgeuse emits. It has been labeled a pulsating red supergiant for a long time, and its brightness varies in cycles ranging from 10 to hundreds of days, depending on whether it is expanding or contracting. These gradual changes in brightness reveal just how dynamic and unstable this star truly is. Another interesting aspect of Betelgeuse is that its brightness varies considerably, ranging from magnitude 5 to magnitude 0, which is a significant difference when compared to other stars in the sky. These variations in brightness occur in cycles. The shortest cycle lasts approximately 185 days, while the longest cycle is a staggering 2,335 days. Occasionally, these changes occur more regularly and can be measured accurately, providing scientists with vital observational data. For instance, in February 2021, the V-band value of 1.614 was one of the lowest recorded in recent years, deviating from Betelgeuse's usual brightness. Not only is its brightness remarkable, but so is its intense red color which is due to its surface temperature of about 3,500 Kelvin, much lower than the Sun's 5,500 Kelvin. Although the Sun is smaller than Betelgeuse, the latter emits less energy per unit area due to its lower temperature. This reduced energy output per square meter makes it appear less luminous in certain wavelengths despite being one of the largest known stars. Betelgeuse has been relatively stable for many years, despite being a pulsating giant. However, it has recently shifted from a calm state to a more unstable one, which is alarming to astronomers. This is because Betelgeuse's gas shell is burning, it is gradually running out of hydrogen in its core, where the fusion process converts hydrogen to helium. This process is expected in a red supergiant as hydrogen fusion in the core slows down and the outer layers of the star begin to expand, causing it to grow even more in size. In this late evolutionary phase, helium begins to accumulate around the core, which is now mostly composed of hydrogen, and a fusion process known as helium envelope burning begins. In this stage, helium atoms fuse to form heavier elements such as oxygen and carbon. This fusion releases energy that combats the gravitational force trying to compress the star's outer shells. However, the burning of helium is not as constant or stable as the fusion of hydrogen in the nucleus, leading to accumulations of energy that are released irregularly. These energy releases can destabilize the star's structure, causing its outer layers to expand and contract. This cyclical expansion and contraction manifests itself in pulsations that alter Betelgeuse's brightness over time. These pulsations release enormous amounts of energy, generating strong stellar winds that tear large amounts of mass from the outer layers of the star. This phenomenon is characteristic of red supergiants like Betelgeuse. These stellar winds cause stars to lose mass, 
which alters the distribution of matter and energy within them and further affects their evolution. As the outer layers of the star expand when it grows and contract when it shrinks, a constant pulse is generated, one that we perceive as changes in the star's brightness. This regular pulsation is similar to the beating of a heart, reflecting the dynamic and unstable internal workings of the star. To better understand these phenomena, astronomers employ a variety of methods. Among the most important are photometry and spectroscopy. Photometry measures the amount of light emitted by the star at different times, allowing us to observe changes in its brightness, as is the case with Betelgeuse, whose pulsations give us crucial clues about what is happening inside it. This method provides a direct connection with the behavior of the star, facilitating the monitoring of its luminous variations. On the other hand, spectroscopy analyzes the star's light at different wavelengths, revealing key details about its temperature, composition, and motion. When Betelgeuse pulsates, its spectral lines change, allowing scientists to learn more about the processes behind these pulsations. Together, these methods allow scientists to build a more complete picture of stellar behavior. By combining information from brightness analysis with that from internal structural changes, astrophysicists go further, using powerful computers to create models that simulate the inner workings of the star. These models are built from the equations that govern stellar structure, including nuclear and fluid dynamics at its core. These models make it possible to predict how the star's pulsations change as internal conditions vary, effectively connecting theoretical frameworks with observed data. This is a fascinating process, bringing together physics, mathematics, and astronomical observations to understand stars like Betelgeuse in greater depth. One particularly important internal process that occurs inside stars like Betelgeuse is known as stellar convection. In this process, energy generated in the core moves toward the surface, helping to balance internal processes with the star's external brightness. As hot matter in the core rises and cooler matter descends, convection currents form that transport energy to the outer layers. This movement of matter alters the luminosity of the star, making it appear brighter when the energy reaches the surface. These changes in energy flow caused by convection currents are directly responsible for the variations in brightness that we observe as pulsations. The amount of energy moving within the star fluctuates, which explains the periodic alterations in its luminosity. Additionally, these pulsations are not just random fluctuations. They can follow regular and predictable patterns, especially in stars like Betelgeuse that are classified as variable stars. The cycles of brightness are linked to the rhythmic expansion and contraction of the star's outer layers. As the star expands, the surface cools and dims. During contraction, the surface heats up and brightens again. This process is the result of complex interactions between two competing forces, gravity and radiation pressure. Gravity pulls the star's matter inward, while radiation pressure generated in the core pushes outward. These opposing forces create a delicate balance, leading to the star's periodic expansion and contraction. Over time, this cycle can cause the star to become noticeably more or less bright when viewed from Earth. Betelgeuse, nearing the end of its life cycle as a red supergiant, exhibits these convective pulsating behaviors more intensely. As the star depletes its nuclear fuel, it will eventually undergo a cataclysmic supernova explosion, marking the dramatic end of its life. Until that final moment arrives, the pulsations caused by stellar convection continue to influence its luminosity. They offer scientists invaluable opportunities to study the processes occurring within one of the most enigmatic and powerful stars in our cosmic neighborhood. As Betelgeuse continues its celestial journey toward its inevitable